Across the street from Stella Niagara Education Park lies the Stella Niagara Nature Preserve. This beautiful 29-acre property is home to many different kinds of birds. Some of the birds are migratory animals, which means they migrate, or move, to different parts of the world when the seasons change. Spring is a season of mass migration when lots of animals are on the move. In this video, we'll take a look at four different birds that are getting ready to migrate or recently arrived. The first type of bird is moving away from our area, the next two are moving into this area, and the last bird we'll learn about isn't here yet, but we'll take a look at its special nest. Let's follow this trail down to the Niagara River to find our first birds. What type of bird likes to live near water? What type of bird can float on the water? Listen carefully. Can you hear them? I don't remember the names of these ducks, but they're very special. They have a super long tail. Long-tailed ducks live way up north in the cold Arctic water along Canada and Alaska. To survive winter, they migrate down to the Atlantic Ocean where it's a little warmer. Now that it's spring, it's time to fly back up north. Because the long-tailed ducks have an even longer migration, they took a pit stop on the Niagara River, so they won't spend much time here. That's why it's so exciting to find them. Our next two birds are doing the opposite from the long-tailed ducks. Rather than leaving, they've been making their way to us. Listen to these sounds. My kindergarten classes should recognize these calls because we heard and saw a lot of these birds. The color of these birds are black and red. Do you remember their name? The red-winged blackbird. Male red-winged blackbirds migrate before the females. The males arrive first to find a territory away from the others. Then they'll do a lot of singing. When the females migrate later in the month, they make their nest by themselves in three to six days. Our next spring migrant has been here for a while now and is our New York State bird. These are eastern bluebirds. Keep your eye on this bluebird. It's looking for any bugs to sneak up on. When it finds one, the bluebird will swoop down to catch it, then bring it back to a perch to eat. In the same tree where we just saw those eastern bluebirds, there's also this bird's nest here. I think it's from last year because there's a couple of holes in it, but if this tree were covered in leaves of all of the summer foliage, we would be able to see it so well. So going out in these cold spring days can be a great opportunity to find bird's nests just like this. Speaking of nests, that brings us to our last migratory bird, the Baltimore Oriole. They're known for making really cool nests. These beautiful, bright orange and yellow birds have not migrated here yet because they're waiting for warmer weather in late April and May. While we're waiting for them to arrive, I found the plants they'll be using to make soft beds inside their nests. This plant is called dogbane, and it is a favorite among migratory birds that are going to be returning soon and looking for nesting materials. These are the seed pods from last year. And when you first look at this plant, it just kind of looks like a sharp needle-like pod. But when you crack it open, you can start to see some very soft white fibers coming out. And these hold the seeds to the next dogbane plants. Migratory birds like Baltimore Orioles love to use this very fluffy material, and also milkweed, to make their special 
basket nests, which kind of hang in a teardrop shape from trees. Hi everyone, thanks for learning about migrating birds with me. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to first grader Josh and his family. Josh is keeping outdoor education in his routine by going outside and exploring nature. Look at all these frog eggs you found. Way to go, Josh. If you can get outside to discover your neighborhood while maintaining social distancing, I encourage you to do so. In whatever way you and your family feel comfortable going outside, I would love for us to share our nature experiences during this time. If you want to share a nature discovery with me in the school, all you need to do is take a photo and send it to the email outdooreducation at stella-niagara.com. I would love to give you a shout out in my next outdoor education video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for an Earth Day announcement at the end of this week.